Hello everyone, I'm Jessica. Welcome to my fantasy a -thon vlog. It's not day one, it's day two already. I didn't have any filming time yesterday, pretty much at all, but I did have some reading time while I was driving. So I've been reading The Red Pyramid by Rick Riordan. I'm reading this for the challenge of a diverse fantasy. The main character, Carter, is mixed race. I am currently on page 267 out of 516 I think. So I'm more than halfway done with this and that's pretty much all I've had time to read so far. So that's where we're at. I will update you guys again a little later today after I've had more time to read. So I actually have not got to do any more reading today. Surprise surprise. Did work on my writing for Camp Nano but didn't work on my reading for fantasy -a -thon. So I'm doing two vlogs currently so it's kind of confusing but that's where we're at. It is about midnight. I'm going to go to bed. I'm going to try to start The Lost Coast by Amy Rose Capetta because it's on my phone. So I'm taking this to bed with me and hopefully in the morning I will have an update for you. Okay, it is now the 8th day 4 fantasy a -thon, and I read yesterday and maybe Saturday. I don't know when was the last time I updated. I, I honestly don't even know. I've completely lost track of time in my mind. Update. I am currently on page 414 of The Red Pyramid which means I'm about 80% through with this which means I'll most likely finish this on the car ride to and from work tomorrow. Last night I started reading Throw of Glass by Sarah J Mass. I am on page 30. I only read for about an hour last night. Really not even that long. Maybe 45 minutes. I'm on page 30 of this. Um, I'm liking it so far. It is definitely going to be one of those books where I have to pay more attention to. It is like a thicker writing or at least from what I can tell so far it's a more dense type of writing. Something that needs more attention and will take a little longer to read but I'm excited to continue on with this and see how it goes. And I did actually finish a book yesterday, which I put it in here for this reason. It is the graphic novel Witch, Volume 4. It is, as I have said, technically uh, Part 2, Norris's Revenge, Volume 1, but as the whole story arc, it is Volume 4. Don't know, I didn't number them. Um, but yeah, I finished this yesterday. I sat down. This was my for Challenge 7 to um, just kind of have a have a me day and read a book and I chose this for that um, just because it was easier to sit and curl up and read and also because I knew that I would have an easier time reading a graphic novel. Um, it's gonna be a couple hours to read this so. I gave this a 4.25 out of 5 stars. Really my only question at this point is if you've read these before, if you've watched the television show, the girls grow up like as when they go from mortal form to like their guardian form they go from like being 14 to like 16 17 like they mature their bodies mature like the girls have boyfriends and some of them have boyfriends in their older form versus their younger form and i have questions about that otherwise i just really like the story i liked the television show back in the day when i was a kid and i'm just I'm really enjoying this graphic novel series so it's fun to read. So that is my update for now. I don't know that I'm going to update any more today. I am getting ready to do a live write-in for Nano and then I'm probably going to take throw a glass and go to bed so wish me luck and I'll give you guys an update tomorrow. Hey guys it is day five now. I just got home from work and on the car ride home I finished the Red Pyramid by Rick Riordan. This is the first book of the Kane Chronicles. I haven't decided but I'm going to read it yet because I literally just walked in the house. Um, it is like 5 30. I did not end up reading any more of Throne of Glass last night. I ended up doing the live stream for Camp Nano on Kevlandia's channel and spent pretty much like two hours doing that and then went to bed. But I'm planning on reading more of Throne of Glass here in just a little bit after dinner and hopefully getting that finished soon. I'm not really on track to finish on time but I'm just gonna keep try my best and see what happens. Hey guys, it's day six of the fantasy a -thon. What is up? So far today, and it's like 8.30 p.m., all I have read is 132 pages of The Wrath and the Dawn. And honestly, I don't know why people like this book. This is what I'm reading for my second chance book, which I'm technically giving the author a second chance because I read both Flame in the Mist and Smoke in the Sun and didn't really like those. 
not loving this. Probably not gonna finish it. I haven't completely decided yet. I'm gonna give it another day. It is the only audiobook for any book that I have left on the list for this week. So I don't know for sure yet, but I sh I'm, I'm not loving it. So I have issues. Other than that, that's all I've read so far. I didn't end up reading anything yesterday, I don't think. Can't remember. I don't know. I was trying to edit my video for my vlog for week one of Camp Nano and I spent like four hours working on it and it was just a mess. Um, my programming just wasn't working. I, I normally have my vlogs up by now, but it's been a mess. So I'm out. I will update you guys a little bit later. All right, kids, it's day seven of the fantasy a thon, and I am giving up on the Wrath and Adon. So I'm at 59%, and this was for the challenge of giving a book or an author a second chance, I believe is the way it was worded to either finish a book you've already started or to give something a second chance. This was Adier's third chance with me and I, her writing's just not for me. I have a lot of things that I want to say about this book but a lot of them I can't say because they're very spoilery. I will link my full review in the description box below on Goodreads. Basically my three main problems with this book are Insta Love, its resemblance to Twilight which I also didn't like, and that the main love interest basically has a magic dick. I mean obviously like he uses it on women who don't want anything to do with him and they magically fall in love with him so his dick must be magic I guess. Yeah I'm done. Like I'm so done with this book. DNFing this. I'm going to unhaul the sequel and I will probably never pick up another audio book ever again. This is I've bought four. I've read two and a half. It's just not for me. I love her personally. Like she's a great person. I follow her on social media but there's this not. It's not for me. Okay. Other than that I haven't done any other reading. I am so far behind. That's like the third book on day seven. Like it's it's a hot mess. I've started Throne of Glass. I've started uh, The Lost Sea. I've finished two books so far. So two and a half, three, four. What are the other two I'm supposed to be reading? Oh, The Novice and Six of Crows. I'm probably going to switch out something for Jesse Elliott's Twisted Desire because I have to finish that for a blog that needs to be posted on the 17th. Probably gonna switch something out with that. I don't know what because I think everything I've read already is like covered. I will have to do some changing around but I think I can make it work so I can. I can make Throne of Glass. Okay I've got a plan in action. Okay so I'm going to switch out Six of Crows for Twisted Desire. I think that's where I'm at. So I will update you guys later. Um, it's like six o'clock on Thursday. I know that I have to, I'm a, I just got home from work. I have to make dinner, clean up. I have writings for instance tonight with Kim and Megan at like 8.30, probably until bedtime. So I've got like an hour to read. <laughs> so let's get to it. Today is day eight of the fantasy -thon and I'm finally up to four books being finished. And today I finished Twisted Desire by Jesse Elliott. It was not originally on my list but I did talk about it yesterday. I was going to change out Six of Crows and put in technically taking Six of Crows out, putting Throne of Glass in Six of Crows place and then putting Twisted Desire into Throne of Glass's place because I knew that there was no way that I was going to be able to read three more full-length books, four more full-length books. And, and I know I have to read it by um, the 17th because that's when my review has to be posted because it was an e-arc. I ended up giving that a 4.25 out of 5 stars. I think that's higher than I rated both of the actual books in the series and this was just the novella. It's a 2.5 but here's the thing. The two main characters in Twisted Desire are actually side characters from Twisted Gift and Twisted Fate, who just so happened to be my two favorite characters, Nikolai and Skylar. So I was super excited to read their story because they're my favorite characters. Why wouldn't I want to read their story? It'd be silly if I didn't. So I definitely enjoyed that. I'm very excited that I got to read it and to read it early. And I'm super excited to do a review for it. There will be a full review posted for that on the 17th. The book comes out on the 16th, but my review day is the 17th. Look out for that. It's still pretty early. It's only about 8 o'clock and I may do some more reading tonight, but I have like 200 videos in my watch later from like the last week and a half that I have not watched yet. Um, so I may just be doing some video watching and getting caught up on that for the evening, which is probably what will happen. So it is Saturday, Saturday, because I work today. 
It's Saturday. I don't know what day of the week it is. I don't know what day we're on. It's the fantasy-a-thon. I got nothing. Yesterday, I finished Twisted Desire. I read a little bit more of Throne of Glass, but not a lot. It's Saturday now. I just got home from work and from having lunch. I really just want to curl up in bed and go to sleep. Hi, I'm in bed, but I think I'm going to try to read for a little bit before I fall asleep. And I'm pretty much just going to spend the rest of the evening reading this. I've probably watched like 50 videos between last night and this morning, trying to catch up on all of the videos that I'm behind on. I am just going to lay here with the dogs and uh, read some book. Two hours ago, I told you I was gonna go lay down and read some, what am I reading? Throw in a glass. That didn't happen. It's not because I fell asleep, which is what I thought the problem would be. The problem is that I turned on Netflix for background noise. Duh, stupid, why would you do that? And the first thing that popped up, like the advertised show that was up for Netflix was this show called The Perfect Date, this movie called The Perfect Date, starring Noah Centennial, which aka Peter Kavinsky from To All the Boys I Love Before. And uh, so obviously I had to watch it and it was like the cutest thing ever. Like I absolutely loved it. I mean, it wasn't like, I didn't cry or anything. It wasn't like one of those movies that makes you cry. It wasn't very long. It was like an hour and a half. I mean, Noah Centennial, like what's the, how could you not love that? It also starred um, Laura Marano, who played Allie in uh, Disney's Austin and Allie. Just a super cute movie and I really enjoyed it but I obviously didn't read anything because I was too busy staring at the TV screen so. So I guess that means I'm gonna try to read now. I'm not feeling tired anymore which is good. I'm surprised I didn't fall asleep during the movie because I was really tired when I laid down but I'm not really very tired anymore so I'm gonna try to <laughs> read a little bit in here sitting up so I'm not like falling asleep and we'll see what happens. Okie dokie. I don't know when the last time was that I updated because I am terrible at vlogging apparently. Essentially what you need to know is that the readathon is over and I did not complete all of the challenges and so I'm just going to quickly go over the books that I was able to finish. For the challenge of reading a diverse fantasy I read The Red Pyramid by Rick Riordan. Finished that one. For the challenge of either starting a new or continuing on in a series I read Twisted Desire by Jesse Elliott. There's a full review video. I'll link it in the description box below as well as in the cards so if you're interested in hearing more about that there's a full review video for that. For the challenge of immersing yourself in pampering and inside of your book I read which volume four for the challenge of giving a book a second chance i tried to read the wrath and the dawn by renee Adier. i ended up dnfing this at 49 percent and for the challenge of reading a hyped fantasy i was reading throne of glass by sarah j mass i think i'm on like page 75. i will be finishing this probably this month the other two books that i had on my tbr which were the novice by taryn mathrew and The Lost Coast by Amy Rose Capetta. I do plan on reading both of those this month, as well as Six of Crows by Leigh Bardugo, which was on my original TBR, but then I changed my TBR. All of those will be read either by the end of this month or the end of May. So if you're interested in on how I feel about those books, stay tuned because I'm going to be reading them like within the next month and a half. That's how I was able to do for the Fantasy-a-thon. If you did this read-a-thon, let me know in the comments below how you did. Link me to your videos, whatever the case may be. I would love to see how you all did. Hopefully you did better than me. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, and book-related videos on Mondays and Wednesdays and bonus videos on the weekends. So until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye!